Sports Saturday, one of our favorite guests, one of our favorite recurring guests, uh, Scotty Davenport from the Bellarmine. It's pressure. I, it's pressure. Not pressure, just like genuine affection. You're one of our favorite guests Thank always. You. Thank uh, you so. Very much. We thought it'd be fun to bring you back in to kind of do a summer update on what's going on with your team, what, what summer is like for, you know, an elite Division II powerhouse to, to kind of get ready for the upcoming season. A lot going on for you guys, right? Well, you sum it up, you never stop. Somebody mm -hmm. ran across me the other day and they said, oh, coach, it's downtime, you better ready to gear up again. I said, no, sir, <laughs> incorrect, we don't stop. Mm -hmm. If you never stop, you don't have to start again. You just True. keep going. Mm -hmm. Just keep going. The players keep going, we keep going. It's either camps, recruiting, or both. And the players, it, it's constant. So mm -hmm. it, it's literally a labor of love. It really is. So give me some perspective on this. What what do your guys do? Season's over. When do they, not that you stop, but when do you start up with weight room conditioning, all that kind of stuff? Well, we never stop. And by rule, we're allowed to open it and to be there, but we cannot coach mm -hmm. and instruct, be it Steve Hartman, our strength coach, our mm -hmm. entire staff. To tell you how, and, and I know people go crazy with that, repeat it, how awesome these kids are. Yeah. So we had seven of them in Louisville the whole month of May, mm -hmm. which is school's out. Either they're in the weight room six in the morning, eight o'clock, mm -hmm. they either go to work, internship, or mm -hmm. class back on the court at four o'clock. Mm -hmm. Then June comes and we start camps. Now it's six to eight mm -hmm. on the court in the weight room, eight to eight thirty breakfast, eight thirty to four. 13 to 7 mm -hmm. to 13-year-olds coaching camp, 4 mm -hmm. to 6 back on the court, 12 hours, do it again. That's crazy. No, it's That's not. Crazy. This is This is their learning, passion, dedication, attention to detail uh -huh. that for the next 40, 45 years of their life is going to reward them mm -hmm. far after a ball. Natalie, I'm going to blow you away. Okay. Research will show you this incoming freshman class that we have. We have four freshmen. Mm -hmm. They're going to work past the year 2065. That's a long way out to think about. When they finish working, mm -hmm. research shows there will not be one single automobile when they quit working in the United States of America driven by a human. Okay. There you go. All right. Wow. How about that? This is why you're our favorite guest on Sports How Saturday because we, we get some basketball, we get some fun facts in there. How about that? Uh, so let's talk a little bit about, you, you kind of mentioned the camps. You got you have them in, I feel like it's all the time over the summer. Five weeks. We have three weeks uh -huh. left starting this Monday. Then the week of June, July 23rd, mm -hmm. the week of July the 30th, we go Monday to Friday, 8.30 to 4, mm -hmm. and it's the old-fashioned way. It's boys 7 mm -hmm. to 13-year-old, and we teach basketball the only way I uh -huh. know and our staff knows the fundamental way. Mm -hmm. Our players are all the coaches. They're on staff. And we bring in outside coaches also. Mm -hmm. But it, it's an incredible time of, of the summer because, you know, I'm not the answer in this deal. Mm -hmm. And our players in that locker room going forward are the answer. Well, the, the, the young people that are going to find the answers for them are these campers right mm -hmm. now. So we just keep it going. What do you learn about your players when you get to watch them coach little kids? Here's what we do. When we make, like, teaching areas, mm -hmm. Well, if Natalie Grice is a tremendous ball handler, but very weak in her defense ability, That's you're going to teach. probably accurate. You're going to teach defense. <laughs> okay. Because if so, you've got to teach it, mm -hmm. you better get pretty good and knowledgeable about what your yeah. subject matter is. If we got a great shooter, he's going to go teach blocking out. Okay. So we and we mm -hmm. move it around all summer. We move it around from week to week, session to session, but they understand the importance of teaching and organization. Mm -hmm. Because you got seven to 13 year olds and you're trying to move them. We move players from team to team and league to league mm -hmm. to try to make it. We have one rule in camp, one rule. Nobody, nobody is allowed to get discouraged. Okay. If you get it's discouraged, you're gonna see a side of Coach Davenport you wish you've never seen before. They're too young to get discouraged. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. at the end of the week, instead of a medal or a trophy that sits over there and everybody goes, wow, we do compete. We acknowledge winners. Mm -hmm. We give certificates. We, we have winners. I give every camper a basketball with one rule, wear it out. September, December, February, call me, come. We'll hand it to you. We'll give you a brand new one. Go wear that one out. That's what we give them. That's a good deal. That's what it's we a, do. That's a good deal. Uh, for you, what do you kind of get out of, of seeing some of these kids get the fundamentals? It, it's it's such a reward when you... Five days is not going to make a basketball player. We don't mm -hmm. have a magic machine. But 
by not getting discouraged, we want them to get better with the understanding we're going to teach you the right way. Now, go use these tools. But we invite them to games in our mm -hmm. locker room. You've been in there. You know we have teams in. They can bring their youth team, their church team, their club team, their school team to any practice they want to come. Mm -hmm. Come with their families. We just want them to, to be a positive situation in the summer. And we combine both this one that you can apply academically as well as athletically. Mm -hmm. I want to talk a little bit about some of the guys that you have coming back because you had a tremendous group of seniors last year uh, had a, really an unreal regular season. Uh, what do you feel? How do you feel about the team that you have coming back for this upcoming season? I love them. We got 11 guys back, mm -hmm. and, and you start with the seniors. We, uh, Brent Bach, who played a, a, a tremendous mm -hmm. role, we lost a senior, but we didn't lose him. Tyler Jenkins, who mm -hmm. graduated, has already started graduate school, and he had a, a fought a, an illness last year, a very serious mm -hmm. illness. Um, he will be back stronger than ever. That's awesome. Healthy as mm -hmm. can be. So that's like a bonus. He started 38 games as a junior mm -hmm. and last year played six games. So we, we got the medical red shirt mm -hmm. and then we're bringing in four freshmen and two Division One transfers. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris Palombizio from Oakland University outside mm -hmm. Detroit and Ethan Claycomb from uh, Indiana State. So mm -hmm. we, we, and they've been here all summer. Where Where's the leadership on this team as you look at it, kind of your, your older guys that are now going to kind of take over that leadership role that Brent Bach and those guys had last Adam year? Adam Everhart, without mm -hmm. a doubt, was the first sophomore All-American we mm -hmm. ever had. Adam Everhart, Tyler Jenkins, and Daniel Ramser. Okay. Three incredible yeah. seniors on and off the court. Mm -hmm. The great thing about the camps, I wish I was smart enough to figure this out on my own. I wasn't. Mm -hmm. When the NCAA allowed all these players to work camps, when they report back in August, it's, it'll be like November. These mm -hmm. these four freshmen, when other freshmen are scrambling around like, uh, where's Horrigan Hall? Well, it's right there. Well, how do you know? Well, I've been here mm -hmm. all summer. Where's that Where's that restaurant on mm -hmm. Burstown? Well, it's right on that corner. How do you know? Well, I was here all summer without the academic pressures. So now when they come in, they're acclimated to the city, to the university, and they're ready to go, and they hit the ground running. I want to ask you about one of the other things that, that you've talked about, especially during the NCAA tournament, is you want these guys to have fun while they're together. So you've done some interesting team bonding. I think there was an, an axe-throwing trip. Uh, where do you get the ideas for this stuff? You name it. We've <laughs> done it. From comedians, magicians, mm -hmm. Navy SEALs, go indoor carny, you name it. We've done it. Mm -hmm. This should be for the greatest years of their life. But like I said earlier, but take the discipline, the passion, the attention to detail and apply it for the next 40, 45 years. Mm -hmm. But this should be the, this is college, should be the greatest time of their life. It's a very, very long season. Mm -hmm. So the summer's great because they're all getting better without the pressures of preparation for a game. Mm -hmm. And, and our, our theory on summer and non, non out of season uh, work is everybody does it together. Mm -hmm. If you gotta go do uh, 30 set, 30, reps on and three sets of 10 in a weight room. Mm -hmm. It's one thing if you're doing it by yourself, but if you got two guys cheering you on, then you cheer them on, this is how you build team. Finally, want to ask you about one of the things that I thought was so cool, that the relationship that you had with UofL women's basketball team, where Coach Walls has been such a supporter of your yes. program, and then you vice versa yeah. with him. Just two coaches. <laughs> but but he's a better person than he is a coach, mm -hmm. and he's a tremendous coach. I mean, what he has done to go to four Final Fours here is mm -hmm. absolutely you know, astounding, mm -hmm. and I have a great before and after picture. He played at Northern Kentucky sure. University, so he has a before and after picture of Bellarmine basketball. Mm -hmm. But it's, I mean, we talk endlessly mm -hmm. about basketball, you know, about recruiting, uh, you name it. Mm -hmm. and, and I value that friendship. And this community is very, very blessed to have the coaches, both football, mm -hmm. basketball, baseball, Bellarmine, mm -hmm. UofL that we have. The administrations that we're lucky in this community, trust me. I can't, I can't say it any better than that. Scotty, thank you so much for your time. We'll let you enjoy the rest of your summer, but thank you so much for, for stopping by Sports Saturday to, to give us an update. Thank you. Appreciate it always.